waiting for you below. But whatever. It'll be all right. Dude, I love credit cards. Just got money back from disputing Postmates. I ordered some food and the app said it was delivered, but I never got the delivery. This has happened so much that Postmates is now refusing to refund me. I mean, it's not like it's my fault your service and couriers aren't working. Anyways, I love to see this in my inbox. Fork you, Postmates, overpriced piece of poop, shady mother forkers. Let's talk a bit about these bronze speed switches. Because I've seen plenty of poor reviews on them, I ordered them with this GMMK Compact. Side note, I don't like these black pudding caps. I think they make more sense in white. The black top and white bottoms look off pudding. See what I did there? Pudding. Pudding? But I had to try drowning out my keyboard with RGB at least once. I might do a giveaway to jumpstart the channel, so if you haven't subscribed, do so now for a chance to win this free board. Back to the switches. I actually love these switches so much that I wasn't planning on reviewing them, but I felt I had to after seeing all the negative reviews. These are speed switches, so they actuate higher on the press. The bronze is the clicky version of the speed switch. It doesn't take much force to push these switches, they're very light. My broken poker keyboard had MX red linear switches and they feel comparable in terms of the actuation force. I haven't been the biggest fan of clicky switches, but they always find a way to seduce me back into getting them on a board. Once upon a time, I tried MX blues on a Vortex core board and they felt scratchy, heavy, and sounded hollow. Cheap, flimsy plastic is the, is the, is what comes to mind. Terrible for gaming and the scratchy feel wasn't my bag while typing. These bronze switches, however, are the opposite. They feel light and sound solid, like the clicking mechanism is hitting something dense. The mechanism itself is built differently than MX Blues, which is probably what is responsible for the unique sound and premium feel of the click. The biggest complaint about these switches, the hard no for folks, seems to be that it doesn't actuate on the click, but slightly before. In my experience with gaming, it also resets before the click. Coming from MX Red linear switches, this is no problem. I've typed on reds for years. To me, this is a nice alternative to linear switches. If you want to try something clicky, the bronze are for you. These bronze switches provide a nice blend between clicky, tactile, and linear due to the actuation occurring before the bump. The light tactile click simply helps prevent me from bottoming out, which became a habit for me on the red switches. They almost become linear when gaming, especially when slowly or lightly pressing the key. It causes the click to kind of disappear altogether. The only complaint I have about this switch is while gaming, sometimes I think the switch is reset, but it hasn't. This is probably because I'm not used to the travel distance of the keyboard or the switch yet. But it has been annoying when strafing because holding D and A at the same time will cancel movement. So who is this switch for? Anyone who has a light linear switch and wants to try clicky switches. In my opinion, you'll get some of the benefits of both clicky and linear worlds with this switch. The rest of the video is a five minute sound sample. I think it's important to mention that what maybe no one seems to be talking about is that sound samples are entirely inaccurate in my opinion. The switch sound will vary on different keycaps and keyboards. For example, these pudding keycaps sound shallow to me because of the white plastic bottoms. 
So here it is. Your mileage will vary on these switches depending on what keycaps and boards you have. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see a demonstration of how different switches can sound on different board keycap combos. And now the GMMK with pudding caps and bronze speed switches.